These children are on their way to work. They're part of the army of poor Mexicans moving across the country to pick crops. It's illegal for eight-year-old Eduardo to be harvesting these tomatoes, but his family needs the money. His sister Liliana dreams of using some of it to study. I have to buy rucksacks and all those things so I can go to school. But she's already missed a year of classes. The reality is that families of crop pickers from the country's poorest states rely on every pair of hands to get by, often at the expense of their children's education. It's not just the young who are vulnerable in an often unscrupulous market. These workers are free to come and go as they please and they're paid daily. But in many fields in the country, they're held virtually captive with their IDs and their wages withheld illegally until the end of the harvest season. This week, authorities rescued more than 300 pickers, including 78 children staying in rat-infested rooms on a farm in the state of Coahuila. But workers and supervisors say it's rare for authorities to check what's happening in the fields. The government or parties only come to ask for your vote. After that, they don't know you, they don't come here or think about anyone working here. Years of neglect have led to one of the country's biggest agricultural strikes in San Quintin Valley. Farm workers prized local concessions from the government and producers. But pickers around Mexico continue to work for as little as $6 a day. The youngest of them, like Eduardo, spending their childhoods in hard labor. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Jalisco State, Mexico.